it was just kind of like, this is what I'm going to do for a little bit. Not so much like, oh, this is what I'm going to do as a career. And then, you know, have all of these different uh, ways that I can go about it. Now with SEO, it's different because, well, I work in the e-com department at Crate and Barrel. So we deal with a lot of different departments like branding. We deal with um, analytics and marketing and things like that. But if for someone like me who is doing digital marketing, who is doing SEO, it's not, you don't have to be in e -com. You can also be like in-house and somewhere else, or you can be working at an agency as well too. So there's just different areas. And I feel like it does give you a lot more opportunity. You just kind of have to figure out what company do I want to work for? What job do I want to have? Or maybe even if you wanted to freelance and do that, you could do that as well. What's happening, guys? It's Shane here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I have another very special guest on the channel. Uh, today I got Ivy to come on. Ivy is a digital marketer and she has a very unique experience and perspective on getting into digital marketing. So I'm really excited to have her share her story. Thank you so much for coming on the channel, Ivy. Yeah, thanks for having me, Shane. I'm really happy to talk to you today. Awesome. So let's go ahead and start at the beginning. Uh, we'll go way back in the day. You can kind of like maybe tell us about your background a little bit and then also uh, tell us about the first time that you discovered digital marketing. So before you even knew about the course or anything like that, just mm -hmm. the first time you thought in your head, hey, maybe I should become a digital marketer. Yeah. So I went to school uh, at UCSB actually, and then I went um, as a biochem major. I wasn't super happy about that because I just felt like it wasn't super creative. I didn't really see myself as like a scientist or like someone working in a lab. Um, so yeah, I, I stopped doing that when I was in school. I did art for a little bit for I think like a year or so. Um, that was really fun because I got to be super creative, but there was just kind of I don't know, like there's just like stigma around like art majors that like, you know, you can do art, but it's sometimes not as profitable. And that's kind of what deterred me from, you know, finding the job that was, I guess, creative as well. But kind of fast forward after that, when I graduated from school, um, I just didn't really know what I wanted to do. Like I liked marketing, but like the at UCSB, there was no like marketing major and like the closest thing to that was communications I remember and it was just like a lot of writing and it was a lot of like I don't know just writing specific projects but they weren't actually applicated to like real life in a sense so yeah I don't know I just didn't have too much background in marketing so after I got away college uh, I didn't really have money I had to pay for rent so I was serving for a little bit and then I just happened upon a job with I was doing data entry and I was also doing like um, a small bit of marketing I was doing like um, social media marketing and so that's kind of how I got my feet wet into marketing a little bit so yeah after that after I think that was 2020 so that was during the pandemic I was just searching up like some YouTube channels being like, hey, do I need to get like, uh, do I need to go back to school to do digital marketing? Or what is digital marketing? Or is there something for me that I can just do now? And so that's how I found this course. Got it. So you basically just searched it up online. What is digital marketing or, or something along those yeah. lines and it popped up on I, YouTube? Mm -hmm. So I was just searching up like, digital marketing major in the beginning. Um, I was also just doing a Google search on that and it was popping up just like random academy courses that were like five grand. And I was just like, I cannot afford this. But then I also don't want to go back to school and just get another major that I, you know, I don't know. School was just like, you go in there for two years and then you come out with that also so I just did not want to add on top of what I already have um so yeah I, I was just doing a google search and just trying to figure out like is there something in digital marketing that I might like is there something that I can do on the side without going to school and that's kind of how I found the course yep got it and would you mm -hmm. say that just generally speaking from a financial perspective uh, art degrees are worth it like do they help you achieve your goal 
of becoming an artist in a cost effective uh, manner? Mm -hmm. I would say no, but I like the this is the thing is that I feel like I'm just the kind of person to where I like to teach myself and I feel like art it's great to go to school, but it's also really expensive to go to school. Um, and I feel like there's just so much more knowledge, I think now that you can easily just look it up online or you can just maybe get a mentor and be able to figure out some things like that. But yeah, I don't, I wouldn't say that it's worth it, but for some people, it might be a better option because they like that specific structure. And by the way, guys, uh, Seth does have a free masterclass. Basically, he goes over some of the more important uh, details. He goes a little bit deeper. He talks about the different parts of digital marketing, like SEO, uh, paid ads, pay-per-click, et cetera, and whether digital marketing would be a good fit for you and your own personality. Uh, so if you want to check that out, I will put that down in the description below as well as the pinned comment. But as to the next question, let's talk about you discovering Seth's course. So you you look mm -hmm. into Seth's course, you're deciding, are you going to buy it? Are you not going to buy it? How long was that decision process for you of whether you're going to invest in his course or not? Right. I think it was like two or three months or so um the first month I was honestly just watching testimonials like every day and he would probably bring one out like every week or so or I followed his Facebook group and I would uh read the testimonials there and I was just like how many am I gonna watch for me to like actually pull the plug and be like okay I'm gonna do this so yeah two months into it I got into the course um and I was just kind of going through it and it just was interesting because one, I didn't know anything about digital marketing. Um, and he just kind of put it into a perspective where it's really just easy to understand, easy to apply. And um, you're able to just kind of figure out how do I fit in with this? Do I want to do PPC? Do I want to do SEO? Do I want to do email marketing? Things like that. Um, so yeah, so I did that for a year. I think some people did it for a little bit less than I did, but I was just kind of going through the motions and you know trying to study and also just give myself a little bit more confidence i think if i really just told myself oh i can do this thing that i've never done before i i think i could have easily just finished in like a month or two but um but yeah uh i did that for yeah a couple of months i think that's what i said and then um i landed a well, I was doing like freelance gigs. So I had one of my friends worked at an agency. So he let me uh, do SEO for some of his clients. And then I also just like through my network was able to kind of uh, work on people's websites. And then I had my own website as well too. So um, that's how I started gaining experience. Got it. And just uh, generally speaking, uh, Seth's course, what was it like? So for instance, uh, mm -hmm. kind of like the education side, and then also the fact that he has a really active uh, Facebook group. How how was that? How helpful was that uh, for you learning digital marketing? Yeah, everybody was supported. Seth was, if I had a question, he would answer it, like, even within a day. And I'm usually the one that's not that good at responding. <laughs> so, So he told me, like, you need to do this, this, and this. And he basically was just throughout the course. And, you know, sometimes when I would talk to him, he would just kind of give me like some positive feedback and like, okay, yeah, like even though, I don't know, maybe you're not even fully done with it, like you still can apply and you can still try. You don't have to be 100% perfect. And that, and also just kind of the support from, other people as well so we would I would talk to some of the people in the group and we would have chats every Saturday morning um so just to kind of have accountability for how we're doing what we need help on and we would just celebrate small wins like oh yeah like I got a new client or I got a job and so that's just you know when you hear someone else doing the same thing and then getting what they wanted it's it's just more motivation for you to, to try a little bit harder 
Got it. So let's go ahead and talk about what everybody wants to hear, which is let's talk okay. about the money, right? <laughs> sure. Um, if you're comfortable, you can share how much you made uh, at your first job. Uh, mm -hmm. And then if you're not comfortable, you can just kind of tell me, generally speaking, what people could maybe expect at their first job as a digital marketer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, it's around 50 to 65 thousand a year. Um, and mind you, before I had this job, when I was working at like a smaller, like just straight out of college, I think I was making like minimum wage and minimum wage here is like 15, 16, I think an hour. So yeah, it was a big jump, I think. Got it. And then in terms of like lifestyle with the jobs, like itself, um, what are the differences mm -hmm. between your previous jobs? and uh, digital marketing? I don't know how else to explain it. I think it's hard to compare the two because I was serving for most of my college like career. So it was, it was just kind of like, this is what I'm gonna do for a little bit. Not so much like, oh, this is what I'm gonna do as a career. And then, you know, have all of these different uh, ways that I can go about it. Now with SEO, it's different because, well, I work in the e-com department at Crate and Barrel. So we deal with a lot of different departments like branding. We deal with um, analytics and marketing and things like that. But if for someone like me who is doing digital marketing, who is doing SEO, it's not, you don't have to be in e-com. You can also be like in-house and somewhere else or you can be working at an agency as well too so there's just different areas and I feel like it does give you a lot more opportunity you just kind of have to figure out what company do I want to work for what job do I want to have or maybe even if you wanted to freelance and do that you could do that as well got it and um I would just, one other question I want to ask you is just kind of generally speaking, if somebody is sort of on the fence about going into digital marketing, like they're watching this, they're thinking about doing it, they're thinking about maybe mm -hmm. investing in Seth's course, for instance, uh, what would you say to uh, somebody in that position? Mm -hmm. I would say definitely do your research as far as like, there's just so many different things that are involved in digital marketing. It's not like, oh, SEO is the only thing. Um, and there are different ways to express your creati creativity and then also be analytic or logical at the same time. Um, for me, I found that SEO was not only something very valuable for everybody, but when I was freelancing, I felt like it was an opportunity to bring more opportunity to people. Um, so I work with like uh, small businesses and stuff. So even just getting small amounts of traffic helped them. And so that was just kind of the gateway to me trying to do that on such a larger scale, I guess. Um, so that's kind of I, just figuring out your why and then also just doing your research as far as like, what do you like, what interests you and maybe seeing that as a possibility. So. That's what I would say. Got it. And if somebody does decide that they want to become a digital marketer, but they're on mm -hmm. the fence about uh, buying Seth's course specifically, would you recommend Seth's course? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Seth's course was great. Um, I mean, he he just feels like my mentor, even though I stopped taking the course. Um, he still just helps me, you know, just gives me encouragement and positivity. Like this is like just the start of your career. Um, I've also made friends off of the course as well, um, who just helped me do SEO and things like that. Um, but yeah, I would say if I were just like do a redo again, I would 100% take it again. And yeah, just knowing that I really am just putting a lot of effort into what I'm going to do as a career and that college just isn't the only option out there. Thank you so much for coming on today and sharing your story, Ivy. I really appreciate it. You have an awesome story. You're very impressive. I think uh, uh, the future is looking very bright for you. Maybe we'll have to bring you back on the channel here in about a year or two and uh, see what your updates are. But uh, thank you so much for coming on today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. I really appreciate that as well.